What's up everybody? It's Jasmine. This weekend I was watching Lixfallen, which is a Swedish TV show about people who get into lots of debt and they are finding it difficult to make it through the month. Um, and usually they have like an overdraft every month of like a thousand dollars or something. So they have to like take new loans out every week and it's pretty crazy. Um, but I was watching this one episode and usually, you know, they go sort of the same sort of way where, you know, uh, their family is, uh, disappointed and things like that. Uh, but this episode was a little bit different because he had a girlfriend who broke up with him because she just decided that enough was enough. She was sick of all the lies and things like that, um, because he would buy new stuff all the time. And then he'd lie about how much it costs and like why he bought it and things like that. Um, and so she had had enough. Um, and then later on in the episode, uh, they got together um, through in like a therapy session to sort of talk about things because she was still like a friend to him. Um, and throughout the whole episode, they were sort of playing it along as though they might get back together. Um, and I thought like, you know, that's all right. But then they got to the therapy session and she had written a letter to him and he had written a letter to her. Um, and in her letter, she talked about how she was sick of the lies and things like that. But she also wrote that she was sick of when she would ask about, you know, the money situation. He would tell, he would say that she's been, that she's stupid. Uh, for asking these questions, you know, so he's calling her an idiot when they get into arguments and that's when I was like Are you serious? How can they be running the show and Playing along like oh they might get back together Ooh, lovey dovey and things like that when he is somebody who has called her stupid in arguments and uh, You know and it's clearly really upset her because the way that she said it the way she had written it in the letter, it was very, you could, I felt like you could feel that it had a really strong impact on her and that was one of the big reasons why she broke up with him and I think that that's a really good reason because people have arguments in a relationship, like you have disagreements, you have arguments, you you know, whatever, uh, but if somebody's going to demean you like that and call, call you an idiot, um, that's really difficult to come back from and and you can do it but if they're doing it repeatedly then uh, <laughs> because if you like if you're feeling really stressed out in an argument you can say that you can say like I'm really annoyed right now you know you don't have to go into uh calling the other person names in an argument and if that's part of their behavior then that's something that's really worrying and in in the tv program you could tell that it really uh, had an effect on her but there wasn't really the sense that people around in the show were taking were listening to that you know because the therapist he didn't really say anything like if if i was the therapist i would say you know like that must have been really awful like that must have really felt like he was attacking your self-worth, you know, um, and that it's good that you guys aren't together anymore because it's obvious that, you know, the relationship went into a toxic place. Um, and the, the therapist, he didn't say that. He did say that they shouldn't get together. Um, that he said that the goal shouldn't be for them to get back together. It should be about him getting better for himself because if it's if he goes along thinking that if he gets better he stops his shopping he stops the lying he pays back his loans then and then he thinks that she'll come back and she does come back then he'll just slip right back into his old ways and I think that that's reasonable but I think that the more serious point is that she shouldn't be with someone who talks to her that way and whether or not he gets better, I mean, you know, you just because somebody stops lying and stops uh, buying things doesn't mean that they stop being someone who resorts to 
uh, attacking you know your person in an argument that takes a lot of work I would say and the fact that they had already broken up it sort of says to me that I would say that since they're already broken up she's in a better place and therefore she should keep it that way she should keep herself in a good place and not in a relationship where she's going to be attacked like that with you know being called an idiot for asking questions that are really normal in a relationship because even if it's not your money it's really normal to ask your partner like why have you bought that like what's the decision behind that and you know how much did that cost like you don't have to agree on everything and you don't have to have shared money but to ask things like that is really normal that's a normal question um so yeah and i i mean i was disappointed with the show because i felt like they should have made it clear that that sort of behavior in an argument is not acceptable you know just because you are upset and you're stressed out doesn't mean that you can uh, demean your significant other and it doesn't matter, matter whether you're a male or a female nobody should resort to that because it's just it's toxic and it can really have a lasting effect like I think it has had on this lady so I hope that they don't get back together um, and if they do I hope that he really has changed um, but my biggest disappointment really like whether or not they get back together it doesn't really affect me but it it disappoints me that the show didn't make it clear that that was not okay you know they were sort of pushing the uh the conversation that the worst thing is is that he was lying and he was spending all his money that he didn't have you know and sure that's bad but the worst thing to me is uh putting down your significant other so yeah that's it for me today guys i hope you enjoyed this video a big hello from polar bear and i will see you guys all next time hi doll